this a subgroup today let g composition be a group and uh, phi not equal to h subset of g if h is a group under the binary operation composition of g then h is called a subgroup of g which means that h is a non empty subset of g and uh, this h also will satisfy all the properties of the group under the same operation of g then we call h as a subgroup of g so suppose example h equals to 0 2 4 and k equals to 0 3 which are the subgroups of uh, z6 plus so how we can prove that they are uh, subgroup here we know that this is a z6 plus table and we have already proved that it is uh, any zn plus is a group now if you consider the table for 0 to 4 so you can observe this is a table so with the modulo 6 so 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 2 2 0 plus 4 is 4 2 plus 0 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 and 2 plus uh, 4 is 6 mod uh, 6 is 0 then 4 plus 0 is 4 4 plus 2 is uh, 6 just a minute 4 plus 2 is 6, mod 6 is 0, 4 plus 4 is 8, mod 6 is 2. So now you can observe this again, this satisfies, this subset 0 to 4 satisfies all the properties of a group. Therefore, H is a subgroup of G which is equal to Z6, comma plus under the same operation of Z6 plus. Similarly, if you consider the subset 0, 3, so again this uh, is satisfying all the properties of the group under plus operation so likewise some additional examples for subgroups are h equals to 1 8 and k equals to 1 4 7 are subgroups of u 9 comma dot and uh, z plus is a subgroup of q plus which is again a subgroup of r comma plus so these are some examples next some additional problems if we see let g equals to q belongs to q, q not equal to minus 1. Define a binary operation composition on g by x composition y is given by x plus y plus xy. Prove that g composition is an abelian group. So now we have to prove all the properties of the group and uh, in addition we have to prove the commutative. So to say that it is an abelian group. So how do we prove this? Uh, for all x belongs to g and y belongs to g x composition y they have already given that x plus y plus x y and this x plus y plus x y is also an element of g therefore closure is satisfied second property x composition y compositions are is equal to x composition and uh, y composition z is y plus z plus y z and this I replace by P. So, it will be X composition P is X plus P plus X P which will get like this. Now, similarly X composition Y composition Z is again X plus Y plus X Y composition Z which is nothing but I replace this by Q composition Z which is nothing but Q plus Z plus Q Z which is again the same. So, therefore, associative property is satisfied. Now, to find the identity element, so we know that x composition E should be equal to E composition X should be equals to X, which is nothing but if I expand what is the composition, I will get X plus E plus X E equals to X, which implies if I cancel this X and right hand side X, I will get E plus X E, which is uh, E into 1 plus X is equal to 0, which implies equals to 0 because they have given that x cannot be minus 1. So, therefore, e has to be 0. Since uh, e into 1 plus x is 0 and x is not equal to minus 1, e has to be 0 to satisfy this equation. So, the identity element is 0. Now, to find the inverse, we know that x composition x inverse is equal to e. So, here we know that e is equal to 0. Therefore, x composition x inverse is equal to 0 which is nothing but if I expand this composition I will get x plus x inverse plus x into x inverse is equal to 0. So now if you simplify this by 
taking the common factor or in the like second and third term so we'll get x plus x inverse into 1 plus x equal to 0 which implies x inverse is equal to minus x that is here if I move to the right hand side and then this 1 plus x at the denominator belongs to g which is the inverse of x and this is true and it belongs to g because q is not equal to minus 1 that means an element x cannot be equal to minus 1 if x is equal to minus 1 so this x inverse will be infinity which is not a number so here they have given that x is not equal to minus 1 therefore it is an inverse and it belongs to g so since g composition satisfies the closure associativity and has an identity element which is 0 in this case and every element of g has an inverse g composition is a group now further x composition y is equal to x plus y plus x y and this i can write it as y plus x plus y x which is nothing but y composition x therefore commutativity is also satisfied so g composition is an abelian group second problem so here composition is defined on z by x composition y is equal to x plus y plus 1 verify z composition is an abelian group <coughs> now for all x belongs to g just a minute for all x belongs to z y belongs to z x composition y is x plus y plus 1 which is also an element of z therefore closure is satisfied next x composition y composition z is equal to x composition y plus z plus 1 which is nothing but this i'll be replacing by p i'll get x composition p which is expanded to get x plus p plus 1 so now we substitute p is equal to y plus z plus 1 so i'll be getting x plus y plus z plus 1 plus 1 similarly x composition y composition z is equal to i am expanding x composition y so we will get x plus y plus 1 composition z and replacing this by q i will be getting q plus z plus 1 and x replacing q back by x plus y plus 1 plus z plus 1 plus 1 therefore associativity will also be satisfied Next to find the identity, we know that x composition E is equal to E composition x is equal to x. So, if you expand this, I will be getting x plus E plus 1 is equal to x, which implies this x and this x cancel. So, E will be equal to minus 1 is also an integer. Next to find the inverse, x composition x inverse is equal to E and if I expand this, uh, e is nothing but in this case it is minus 1 so you will get x plus x inverse plus 1 is equal to minus 1 so if you move this to the right hand side you will get x plus x inverse is equal to minus 2 therefore x inverse is equal to minus x minus 2 which is also an integer is the inverse of x since said composition satisfies closure associativity and has an identity which is minus 1 in this case and every element of G has an inverse Z composition is a group. Further, X composition Y is equal to X plus Y plus 1 which is nothing but Y plus X plus 1 which is equal to Y composition X. Therefore, commutativity is also satisfied. So, Z composition is an abelian group next problem which you can try let s is equal to r star composition r star r star is nothing but real numbers other than zero so it is an ordered pair of uh, elements is a set s so define a binary operation composition on s by so every element of s is an ordered pair so u comma v composition x comp x comma y is equal to ux plus vx plus y verify that s yes, composition for an abelian group so the same procedure you should do it and here you can say that it is a, you will come to know that you have all the properties satisfied of a group but it is not 
because it is not going to satisfy the commutativity because you are interchanging this and this so u and uh, x place will interchange and uh, v and y place interchange so the second component will not be same so it is not an abelian group so we'll stop for uh, here and we'll see in the next video other topic thank you